Hello Yarnabees, how are you? Today I am going to show you a quick tutorial that is going to be perfect for gift giving and it's a scrubby. Yay! What I am going to be using is Yarnbees Scrubology and uh, we can't get this up in Canada so I was gifted this by a wonderful friend and I absolutely love this yarn because it is, I think it's the best scrubby yarn that there is, right? Um, that's my opinion, but uh, I, just, I absolutely love it. So this is what the scrubbies are gonna look like. They're big and fluffy and they're ridged so that they will scrub really well. It has an edge on it so that you can get into like some really tight corners in like washing pots and stuff like that. So yeah, so let's get to it and learn how to do this. Okay, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your scrubby yarn, obviously, and you're gonna need a 6.5 millimeter hook. If you crochet tight, um, then go up uh, a size or two. Uh, you do not want to crochet tight with this because it will bunch up. So let's get started. You're going to oops, do a slip stitch. Slip stitch? No. <laughs> oh, I'm not awake yet. <laughs> okay. You're going to chain up four. Oops, I'll bring you in a little bit here. Gonna chain up four, and again, I don't don't do this really tight. Okay, you're going to go into that first chain right here. You're gonna go in, pull up, and pull through, and that's gonna give create this little hole here. Okay, oops. You're gonna chain up three. Turn over, you're gonna go into that hole. You're gonna do double crochet. <clears throat> okay, you're gonna do that again. And you're gonna put 16 double crochets in this hole. Now it might get a little tight. <clears throat> you just have to keep pushing them to the side just to make a little way. Okay, I'm just going to continue to do this until you have 16. The first one is going to count. This one's going to count as a stitch. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done. Okay, so when you have 16 double crochets, you're going to go into that first one to the top of the chain, and you're going to slip stitch. Okay, double crochet, or double crochet, <laughs> chain three. Now you're going to go into that same space that your chain is in. You're going to do a double crochet. Okay, you're going to go into the next space and you're going to put two double crochet. Go into the next space, do two double crochet. And you're going to do this all the way around. And you should have 30 double, cro uh, double crochets. Okay. I will see you when you've finished those. And we'll be right back. Okay, so you're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain, and you're going to chain three. Okay, 
This is how it's looking. Don't worry if it bends a little bit. If it bends over too much like this, then you've done it way too tight. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to yarn over. We're going to skip the one that you, this chain here. We're going to go to the next one. We're going to do a front post double crochet. So you're going to go down and up. Pull that post up on your hook, yarn over, pull through, and finish your double crochet. Now you're going to do a back post on this next one. Go in behind, put your hook up and over. Pull your yarn through and double crochet. Okay, do a front post again, down and up. Finish your double crochet. Again, you do not want to do these tight. Go in behind. Go over that, that post. Pull your yarn through. Double, oops, double crochet. <laughs> okay. Do another front post. Go down underneath. Pull your yarn through and double crochet and continue to do this all the way around front post back post front post back post okay and then front post and then a back I always find it easiest when you've pulled your yarn through to go flick it up just so you've got that give. Finish your double crochet and continue to do this all the way around. And I will see you when you get back. Okay, I've got one more and you should be ending on a front post. Okay. Okay. And then this one will automatically fall to the back and be a, a back post. So you don't have to work anything in there. So you're going to go to the top of your chain here and do a slip stitch. And there you go. Now you're just going to fasten off. Where's my scissors? Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay. Just make sure that you do this, do a couple of knots here so that it's very secure. And then take your, your fingernails and pull, pull down. So that it's really secured. Okay, and then you can weave in your end. Okay, just weave it in however you want to. go like down and up and around and <laughs> now just to make sure that it's really secure okay and you just cut off your ends What you're going to do is you're going to make another one exactly the same. All right, okay, and then when you're finished doing your other one, come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, when you finish this one, I forgot to tell you not to cut your not to cut your yarn off. Um, 
Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your other one. I'm going to pull you out a little bit here. Whoops. Okay. You're going to take your other one. And, oh, wait a minute. You're going to go in when, when you um, slip stitched into this one to fasten it. You're going to go back into that one. Okay. You're going to make sure your yarn's on this side. Take your other one. Find a hole and or find a stitch here. Okay. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through to secure both of them together. Okay. And then you're going to go into the next one. You're going to find the one behind it, pull through, and do a single crochet. Now don't do these tight. Just do them, you know, a little bit looser. Go into the next one, pull through, do a single crochet. Okay. Find the next hole. Next one, pull through, do a single crochet. Next one, single crochet. And you're just going to do this all the way around. Okay, this is just going to secure them together. Just have to line them up a little bit. And single crochet. Okay. <clears throat> and you just keep going all the way around. Sometimes you'll almost miss a stitch in the back, so you got to really make sure that you get into that one because it'll look like you've already worked in it. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, just pull them apart and just look for the stitch in the back. Okay, just keep going. These are so easy to do, and they're they're great for gifts. You can do up like a little kitchen pack with tea towels and dish towels and um, uh, scrubbies and. You can even put like a, a little bottle of dish soap in it. You know, just put it all in a little box and wrap it up really nice and there you go. Okay, now we're all the way around and we're just going to go into that last one and slip stitch and fasten off. Okay. Just cut your yarn. Okay, now you can just pull this tight. Pull this through. Pull it tight. Pull it through. Pull it tight. Take your nail. Pull down. Until it's really tight. Okay, and then just take your yarn. Oops. And just weave in your end. I like to go back into that stitch that you um, fastened off because then it kind of hides the knot a little bit better. Okay. 
and then you just go in and out and in and out and up and down and all around you go you can go through it come out the other end if you want go up however you weave or weave in your ends you do that okay and you go down, up through the hole. Pull the yarn a little bit. And clip. And there you go. Your scrubby is done. Isn't that cool? I like the, the size of them too. You know. But uh, it's easy peasy. Just three rows <laughs> and you're done. So I hope you like this tutorial and I would love to see what you've made on my Facebook group at Crochet A and show me some pictures. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!